Good morning and Happy New Year. Today actually is January 1st. It's uh, 941 here in Boston and I'm doing a little work on New Year's Day getting ready for my Crimson Tide to take care of Clemson tonight. So resolutions on everybody's mind, right? This is a time of year where we try to do something new. We try to do something different. It's, it's a it's a first of, it's a I'm going to, and we try to hold on to these things. And I want to talk to you today about how to reach those resolutions. And I'm going to turn the advice over to my daughter, Kate. Now, if you know me at all, you know that I am insanely proud of my daughters. Katie is 27 years old, and just over a year ago, she, uh, this was last week, she was engaged to Brian Maskell. Katie and Brian are going to get married this July. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of checks to write, so <laughs> I can't talk for too long. I gotta go earn some money. Actually, I've got two daughters now that are engaged. But, but take a look at this picture. This picture that you're looking at right now is a, I don't want to call it a before and after. This is a before and on its way, an in progress. Uh, this morning, I texted Kate. She's usually up, like, I get up at 5.30, you know, every day. And, uh, and I, at about 6 o'clock, 6.15, I get a thong on my Apple Watch. I look over, and sure enough, Kate has finished a workout. One of the cool things, if you've got multiple people with watches, you can connect them so you know when they're reaching their goals so that you can congratulate them and support them. So I've got my youngest daughter, Madeline, is over in Shanghai. She's got a watch. We, she does workout. We all support each other. So two years ago, this same Katie Farquharson, who, and I love Kate dearly, she is not the most disciplined person I've ever met in my life. She quit smoking. I was floored, absolutely floored. I've been asked out of her years, like, Katie, you gotta quit smoking. She said, Dad, I know, I know, I know. She finally quit smoking. And I mean, done. Two years, phenomenal. I'm so proud of her. She gained a little weight. She gained a lot of weight. She decided, she's gonna kill me for that, she decided that, you know what, for my wedding, I'm going to lose a bunch of weight. She's down 35 pounds, 35 pounds. And when I was checking in with her this morning, she, what she's done is she's built up muscle to replace it, and it's slowly ticking away. And she's very conscious of her, of her food intake, and, and she's reaching her goals. She's got, she says she's got another 20 to go. And she said, I will not try on wedding dresses until I get there. And I really want to try on wedding dresses. So she's got motivation, got kind of two motivation, right? She wants to try on wedding dresses because she is my girly girl. And she wants to look great when she's holding me up as I walk down the aisle. Because I said to her, there's no way I'm holding it together with you, kid. Not a chance. Um, but what she's done in order to reach her goals, in addition to the discipline, she has created a support system. So I said to her, Kate, I'm your biggest cheerleader. I love running alongside the sideline of your life. How can I help? And she said, call me or text me on a regular basis and ask, what workout did you do today? Not did you work out, because that's nagging, but rather something encouraging. Okay, well, as it turns out, she had asked three people maybe even four, to do the exact same thing, including her fiancé. And Brian, who's in construction, will stop his day and he'll text Kate and say, Kate, and in fact, he's got an Apple Watch as well, so he's seeing the same thing. Congratulations, Kate. What workout did you, did, did you do? And Katie is just obsessed with this. I mean, she was up first thing this morning, 6.15, on New Year's Eve day to, no, on New Year's Day, excuse me, to work out. She said, I got to work. She works at Apple. Um, she said, I got to work nine o'clock and I'm going to get there. And my point is, whatever resolutions you have created for yourself, the best way for you to stay on track is going to be for you to take Katie Farquharson's tip. And that is build a support system. Ask those people around you. Ask your spouse. Ask a sibling. If your kids are old enough, like my kids are in their 20s, ask a child because they're now more friends than, than kids and they can... They can encourage you along the way. This is what's kept her going on a regular basis. She has now accomplished two of the most difficult things imaginable, uh, losing weight and quitting smoking. And the support system is how she got there. So you're going to want to have people just ask, how many calls did you make today? 
That's a great question to ask, I think. Uh, what's motivating you? That's another great question, but just that check-in. And also the words of affirmation. You know, one of the four love languages, no, sorry, five love languages, four agreements, five love languages, is words of affirmation. Something that just says, I believe in you. Something that just says, you know, uh, you can do this. It goes an awfully long way. I've got a sales tip on that coming up. So that's it. That's my five and a half minutes. I'm out. Um, I'm going to go and uh, what am I going to do? I'm probably going to uh, shovel some snow or something and get ready for the game tonight, light a fire, roll tide. You guys have a great selling week. And um, don't forget to check out the website for some more information on uh, free tips, blogs, columns, things like that. It's all on the website. Thanks very much. Have a great selling week.